Man, I haven't had all my cars back home in a while. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the vlog. Today we're going to be installing a new front lip on the G80 M3. Shout out to Beamer Plug for the awesome parts. I will link them in the description. If you guys need any carbon fiber parts, just go check them out. They're awesome. This is their Vorsteiner front lip and uh, we're going to go install it. Now we've got a better look at what it's going to look like. It's going to look sick. Alright, i got to start by taking off these little side pieces. along I've got three clips off and the two screws holding it together all right well got one off this was a lot more difficult than I thought now I gotta replace this one all right guys we're moving all the cars so we can do an updated car collection officially of 2023 to start the year off we already got two of them out and I moved the other two that are already outside and I have a plan okay now it could be there's three points to moving these cars one updated car collection tour two to clean the garage because not all of the cars haven't been out of here in a very long time because I drive one every single day so I haven't had time to actually clean out the entire garage in a long long time number three I'm going to attempt to fit six cars in this five car garage and I have a plan I have seven cars my plan is to try to fit six in here I think I'm gonna try to put the Mustang in here and just keep the M3 out Side. that's the plan but let's move the porsche i've said this before do you guys like my barbie keychain <laughs> look at how much clearance i have on each side i don't know if you guys can see as this. i have about three to four inches on each side of the body to get this car out of this middle slot of the group if you guys are new to the channel um my name is thomas petru and i'm addicted to cars it's a terrible addiction to have don't get into it guys trust me it's not a pretty sight. I'd probably have a lot better purchases and investments with that income. You can drive cars, you can't drive investments. Well, if they're cars, but. All of these cars have a special place in my heart, but something about the Performante sound. Now look, GT3 S, uh, probably my best sounding car. I don't know why that naturally aspirated V6 just sounds so good, but this is a very, very close second. Very close. Last but not least, this car is going front and center. You may be wondering why, Thomas, because I love this car. The McLaren has got to be like my sexiest car. Wait till my new wheels come in. It's going to be very upgraded. Well, this is pretty crazy. Now, I do have two cars that are not here right now, and they are down at the Acre. I'm just going to go through them. They're not really that cool. I have a school bus, and I have an old school Chrysler that I bought for like 1500 bucks, and it's a big car that I use. It's called the Bitmobile, and I use it whenever I'm filming YouTube videos where I need to like crash a car or like anything. It's awesome. I apologize for the wind if you guys are hearing that. I tried to wait till it died down a little bit, but it's very windy here. We're going to start off with the front and center car of my collection. This is my 2019 McLaren 720S Performance, and it has a full 1016 carbon fiber kit on it. This car features two different colors from a Nozatech, and that is the Miami blue as well as papaya orange. This car features a stage two tune with down pipes and an exhaust, also from 1016, and it is an all around amazing car. It's tuned to about 950 horsepower. Power. I have orange wheels coming to match the bumper and the side so it's gonna be a papaya orange wheels and they're gonna be super sick and just complete this car perfectly and they're gonna be a little bit bigger that is it for the McLaren 720s I absolutely love this car now moving on to the Porsche 911 GT3 RS this is the first supercar I ever bought and I will never ever ever get rid of it it is my favorite car in my collection and I think it always will have a special place in my heart the car is pretty much completely stocked the only thing that this car features is a Grand Mahal exhaust that was on it from when Tanner Fox had it so if you guys know this is Tanner's old car and then it features a snow blue wrap which almost looks OEM it almost looks like it's a Porsche stock color this is a wrap as well as the hood is wrapped satin black as well as the wing and the roof I think it adds a nice little two-tone contrast to it and I am thinking about going with nine design which is 1016's Porsche carbon fiber kit for this car but part of me likes it without it which seems strange I know that a lot of people love carbon fiber and I'm a big carbon fiber guy too but what I don't want this car to come off as as me trying to be a GT2 RS and on top of that Part of me likes the subtleness to the little carbon accents, such as these here. Thinking about doing a hood, carbon fiber vents, and possibly that's it. Just to add a little touch to it to make it a little bit more special, currently sitting on Riviera blue calipers, which is a nice blue. Uh, but yeah, this car just has an exhaust, no tune, no nothing, no down pipes. This car is pure how it's supposed to be in my opinion. I believe in keeping Porsches close to stock. Now moving on to the most controversial car in my collection, and I have a big secret to tell you guys about this car, but I'll get to that at the end of this. This car is sitting on Brixton Forge wheels with carbon barrels. These things are absolutely insane. This car also features an entire 1016 
body kit. Three of my cars do here at the house. I'm sure you guys know which ones those are. And it features this insane wrap from a Nozatec, just like four of my other cars do, as well as this one. This is a Nozatec's metallic spectrum. And if I'm being honest with you guys, I'm kind of over the color as of now. I, I liked it for a little bit, but I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I don't want to go back to Ferrari red. I have a very good idea for this car. But as you can see, there are so many aftermarket parts on this car that it is absolutely stunning. It is sitting on Novatec suspension, features a Voodoo design, exhaust, and downpipes, the full 1016 kit, diffuser, everything. This car is amazing, and this car is also tuned to about 850, 900 horsepower, just like the McLaren. Both of these cars are twin turbo V8, just like that guy. While that is a naturally aspirated V6, I think that these cars are unbelievably performance based in comparison to the rest of these and they are unbelievably fast but that one still sounds the best somehow now moving on to my huracan performante now this car is a beautiful balloon white underneath and i wrapped it nardo gray and now that i have a bmw that is gray it is time to change this wrap and i'm still stuck on what i'm going to do but i have a couple design ideas and i'm going to be moving on to that quickly but this features riviera blue accents and i do think this car is stunning i, I nicknamed it mako because i just thought it looked like a shark and I, this car is beautiful as well as it features a titanium exhaust, downpipes, it has forged carbon fiber stock from the factory, as well as a forged carbon fiber interior. No downpipes, no tune, just like the Porsche. And this car is so fast, it is all wheel drive. It's zero to 16, 2.5 seconds, roughly stock, 2.4. And that is fast as hell for a car that is not modified at all. While these guys are over here in a very similar range, a little bit faster, but this thing is just like a bullet. Now moving on to my baby, the 1967 Fastback. This is another car that I will never sell. In fact, it is sitting on American racing wheels. This car has had a ton of work into it, but an amazing part about it is that it has the original engine from 1967 and yes it has been rebuilt but it is still the matching vin to engine which is awesome i could pop open the hood but i've had a ton of work done to this thing from, from upgraded brakes the fastback was on drum brakes it has now been upgraded as well as the suspension there was a new radiator installed a bigger one all the wiring had to be redone this car needed a major makeover but now it works like brand new i can drive it start it whenever i need to it does not rub but the fitment is absolutely amazing i think this is one of the sexiest cars in the world in driving this car i get more attention attention than even the other cars because it's just such a piece of art every time at the gas station people talk about it it's just it's just an insanely beautiful car and i don't really have anything i wanted to do i thought about doing the eleanor front bumper but i don't want to be a ripoff and be driving around something that's not a true eleanor so i've kind of just left it like this but if you guys have any ideas i'd love to hear them now moving on to my wide body 2019 lamborghini urus this car is the best SUV in the world, and I don't care what anybody says about that. I know that a lot of people disagree with me. This car is perfect. I can take the dogs in it. I can take a bunch of people in it, and it's still fast. I currently have downpipes on this car, and this car is very easily the loudest in my collection by far. It is sitting on Velos wheels. It features a spring pink from a Nozatec, which is one of their most creative colors. I get complimented on it all the time. I love it. It features a full forged carbon fiber wide body kit from 1016. It has downpipes, and it has a stage two tune, and it's pushing about 800 horsepower, and I've been dailying this car for over two years now. No problems, nothing. It is perfect. It is bulletproof. I can't say anything better about this car. Best SUV out there. There. and I have thought about selling it for numerous reasons and I might keep this as the daily which I'll get to and to pick up an Aventador SV so let me know what you guys think about that but I love this car special place in my heart and it is just unbelievably beautiful moving on to the newest car in my collection I traded my 2017 Shelby Baja Raptor for a 2023 BMW M3 competition extra edition does not have the carbon bucket seats and I know a lot of you guys were getting on me for that but here's my reasoning on it one they're not as comfortable as these seats two this car was not specced with them and there was only one M3 for sale 2023 and three I have bucket seats in other cars I don't I don't need the bucket seats but I love the heritage emblem on this car I just finished putting on the front lip as well as the carbon fiber mirror caps and we have a whole build plan for this car including the yellow lights and I've thought about getting Brixton Forge wheels but I think I'm going to keep the BMW wheels I think they're a very unique wheel just like the Porsche wheel where they're the best for the car I haven't done much to it yet so I'll keep you guys updated as I build this car but that is my complete car collection let me know what you guys think in the comment section below what cars should I get I my cars that I want this year I want a Lancia Integrale Delta I want a FD rx7 and i want an aventador sv and that's my plan for this year those are the three dream cars i gotta go out there and make more money so that i can buy those and share the builds with you guys on the channel and i do want to start a car giveaway company where i build cars and give them away that is also a plan for the new year and i might start with this guy if it makes sense but if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe for new videos i'm going to be posting weekly without fail i've said that a lot before but i'm getting back to it and i'm taking hype cars very seriously i love cars it's a huge passion of mine and i'd love to be able to share with you guys even more and let me know what was your favorite car in the video
All right, peace.